Wellness Wednesday is brought to you by Adventist Health. Welcome back. Good morning. It is Wellness Wednesday. And where are we at? Yes, we're in the Edible Schoolyard, Kern County, a program of the Grimm Family Education Foundation. With me this morning, Priscilla, and we are going to make a recipe that I love, something I haven't really put a twist on, which is macaroni and cheese, but we're putting a twist on it. We are. So it's hidden veggie mac and cheese. So we're going to start off by um, sauteing. If you could add our leeks and our garlic to our um, heated pan. So we're going to put leeks and garlic here. Yeah. And the reason why it's pre done is because, as you know, if you cook, it takes a little bit of time to saute garlic and leeks so we kind of cheated and pre-done and we really want to get all the flavor rendered out of those yummy uh, vegetables and we added a little bit of olive oil to the pan as well yes that comes from our trees from our garden from the Bonavista right Adobo Square yeah right here locally yeah all right so we're sauteing and I'm so we're going to that going yeah right bit. there all right so if you could add in the spinach already we want to get right. it nice and wilted and the so, key is when you are putting this in the pan, and I'm sure you'll agree, you don't want to uh, burn the garlic. You don't because it's going to add a really bitter flavor. Yeah. So while you're doing that, Kevin, I am going to be um, blending our hidden veggies. So we have our really softened carrots that we put in the pasta water. So I'm going to add it into my blender. And I'm sure everybody's watched these segments so far, but all these wonderful vegetables coming right from your garden. They do, yeah. So we have a little bit of our pasta water because we want that starch. We have some mascarpone cheese, which if you don't have mascarpone cheese, a little bit of yogurt or a little bit of light cream cheese would work. We I have was afraid to say cream cheese because <laughs> we're eating healthier. So but light. it's just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so we have our Dijon mustard, which sounds kind of odd in this, but the mustard really makes the cheese taste a little bit cheesier. Oh, nice. So it's a little secret. And we have our salt and pepper. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more of our oh, pasta, pasta water. Pasta water. All right, I'm adding some more. Cheddar cheese. That's our grated cheddar cheese. Whoop. Oh, there it all goes. It's all right. It's fun to, it's fun to make messes <laughs> yeah, in the Yeah, it's kitchen. a little realistic, right? Yes. So I'm going to put on... If we had salt, we'd be throwing it over our head. Right, yeah. For a little luck. All right, so I'm going to turn on my blender. And any blender will work. This any blender would work. Yeah, you could use your food processor if you have a food processor. Something that has a little bit of power because yeah. the cheese will kind of... We really want to get it. So I could already tell that I need a little bit more water. <laughs> more water yeah. to soften it up. And my spinach, as you can see here, is starting to uh, kind of wilt down. It's, it's crazy how much spinach. I had a lot of spinach in there, and now we've gone from just uh, a big bunch to a little bit. But you don't want to overdo it to bring down the heat uh, so you don't burn the garlic. And so this is a little bit loud. It's okay, Priscilla. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so All I'm right. gonna call it good. As you see, it has a really beautiful, bright color. All right. Perfect, and then we're going to pour yeah, that so in here with the pasta? Yeah, so I have my cooked pasta, if you could help Is this a wheat pasta? Or it's is this a whole wheat pasta, ah, yeah. See? So again, getting those healthy whole grains, that fiber into your diet, that's there you good go. enough. All right. Mix that around a little bit. And now bit. let's add in our, Cheese our cheesy sauce, yeah. You want to give it a really good mix. That's such a good idea to mix it in a blender. I've, I've never have done that. I've made cheese sauce um, in a, like a pot, but yeah. blending it sounds like such a good idea. And honestly, you really can't tell. It just makes it really bright. Yeah. Yeah, which again is so good for you. Is that beta carotene is good for your eyes. And for flu season, that's coming up. All right. And if you want And to I'm being very careful here because uh, I'll end up, like <laughs> I okay. just did, putting it, it everywhere. It always happens. All right, so give it one big last stir. All right, let me really mix it in here. And this is our hidden veggie mac and cheese, which again, it's really popular with our kids. And it's... Delicious and healthy. Healthy is a key word, I think. <laughs> that goes right. without saying though, right? I know, I know. It's something that I try to continue ingrain in my head. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Now that looks good. Let's get a close-up of that. I mean, that looks delicious. Every week, I it's get inspired by this, so cool. and now I'm going to have to make this maybe this weekend here. And there. All right. And the spinach just kind of melts into it, so it really adds a really nice little Perfect. texture. And you may be wondering what we do with the extras that we cook here. Uh, well... Uh, well, let me see. Do I have a text message? Oh, I do. Bring the leftovers downstairs. <laughs> All right. So let's try this. You ready? Let's see. Awesome. And, you, and then the crazy thing is you don't taste the carrots and that side of thing. No, because they're still blended in with the cheese and the pasta and the garlic. 
just kind of melts in there. And the key to this, kids, if you're watching, it's got spinach. So <laughs> if you want to be like Popeye, you got to eat your spinach. You really so there do. you go. Yeah. You'll end up like Popeye. So, Priscilla, thank you so much for sharing this macaroni and cheese thank recipe. You, and if you want the recipe, I know we went kind of quick here, you will find all the ingredients that you need at kgt.com. Until next time, see you later.